Hey guys, welcome back to The Woman of Marvel. It's Judy Stevens, and I am joined by the ever so magical Elizabeth Hurley. Hello. Hello, thank you for having me. We are very excited because you are joining The Women of Marvel and Marvel family by playing Morgan Le Fay on Marvel's Runaways. So I've done a little research and I saw that the showrunners who you worked on with Gossip Girl called you and specifically wanted you for this role. What was that experience like? Well, they did. It was a very strange phone call. My agent called and said, um, you've been offered a part in a Marvel TV show, Runaways, and they said, let's play Morgan Le Fay. And I was like, oh, well, of course I've heard of Morgan Le Fay. And they said, it's written by Josh and Stephanie. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm definitely gonna watch it then. So my son and I binged the first two seasons of Runaways and loved it. Because I knew, obviously, that Runaways were teenagers, they were all aged 16 and at 16 and 14 for Molly's character. Sometimes in shows like that, the adult parts are really dreary. And they're just, you know, packing school lunches or whatever. And of course, when I watched Runaways, you realize it couldn't be further from the truth. The adult parts are superb. They're all evil, which of course makes for great television. And so once I watched the show, it was a no-brainer. And Morgan is such this, she's a very iconic, historical-based character in the Marvel Universe, but she is this sort of magical and nefarious and very, like, evil character. What was it like bringing that to life? Well, it's quite interesting. When I started to research into Morgan Le Fay, most of the time she is portrayed as malevolent and, you know, up to no good. But just sometimes she's quite a benign figure. And it, it, then it seemed it switched and she's always bad. So in Marvel, she's always very, very bad. So she's come a few times into various Marvel stories. In Runaways, she's been in the dark dimension for a really long time. And it's not until she finds one of these kids, funnily enough, this kid right here, Nico, she uses her as a conduit to get out of the dark dimension and come into the human world. And then she's unleashed on the world and of course she wants to um, take it over. Do you have any advice for young actors out there? Well, I think to young actors, I would say, if you want to be in movies, you need to watch movies. You need to know who the filmmakers are and you need to love how films became. And I'd say make sure you love the medium. Really, really love it because it's a lot of work and a lot of downs along hopefully with some ups and you have to love the business. I mean, that's such great advice to watch the things that you want to love. And understand why you like them and what makes it work. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us, Elizabeth. Thank this you. has been phenomenal. Thank Make you. sure you guys check out Marvel's Runaway Season 3, now streaming on Hulu.